It's a normal Tuesday in geology class, where students make biodiesel from donated used cooking oil. I did not know what I was getting myself into when I did it originally. I wasn't sure what it really was all about, but it's been pretty interesting. Now Aaron and his classmates do know what it's all about. A scientific reaction in a few steps that makes fuel for Brenham school buses. As we gradually kept doing it, we kind of know the process and what valves to turn and how much to pour. <laughs> they kept doing the process because they make 100 gallons each semester, 200 every year. Our 200 gallons is a, a good drop in the bucket and a, a good way for us to let our students know, their students, that you know there is a way to contribute, to, uh, to have a renewable natural resources. But these tiny beakers aren't where all of the fuel is made. This is where the bigger batches of biodiesel are made. First, lye and methanol are mixed and run through the tube into the bigger container of hot oil. This causes the reaction to occur and the glycerin and biodiesel to separate. A process that started when students came to Dr. Phillips and asked to make biodiesel. Let's try and do this, you know, in class and making it part of the class, uh, part of the learning experience. So they did. At first, just using the fuel for Blinn's landscape maintenance. Now, for fueling bigger motors. When you see a bus, you know, like, hey, I kind of help put gas in there or diesel in there. <laughs> Taking sustainable learning outside the classroom. In Brenham, Jenny Walsh, KAGS HD News.